Hey everybody, it's Joe with Just Sheep and Happy New Year. It's 2022. Are you guys ready for a great year? Got a lot of things uh, set up for the chief here. Uh, so why don't we just dive right into it. Um, roof rack and roof of the Jeep. Uh, we're looking pretty rough. So it's a 1992. So, you know, all the years of being, you know, sun beaten down and, you know, rain and salt and snow and, and the heat is really taking a toll on the paint and the surface. So um, I wanted to get it uh, refinished. I wanted to repaint it, sand it down. So one of the things I had to do first was to take the roof rack rails off. Well, gee, uh, you can imagine that the uh, bolts or the little, the little bolts that are holding down the roof rack uh, rails on the roof were, God, you, you can't believe it, they were seized. I, doesn't make sense, right? A Jeep and seized bolts? Had me stumped too, guys. So, uh, of course, I didn't videotape any of that process, but I got a lot of pictures, so I'll hopefully throw them out here uh, right before I start talking about my roof. Um, but uh, with some careful cutting, surgical cutting, with my cutoff wheel, I've gotten really artistic with that thing. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, I was able to uh, cut it in half, so like right before the bolts, and kind of twist it back and forth. It's aluminum, so I mean, it, it broke right off. And then uh, with the grinding wheel, just grind down the heads of the bolts and push through the uh, the nut certs. I think they're like uh, three eighths, three eighths nut certs. Um, I'll link, I'll leave a link in the uh, description on all the parts you need. I got the uh, the nut certs and the little bolts from Amazon. They were like little button head bolts and a couple bucks. It'll be here in a few days. Um, but uh, my, my intention is to, uh, or my intention was and still is, to remove the roof rails, buff out, sand out with some 320, 320 grit, easy for me to say, uh, 320 20 grit uh, sandpaper, uh, prime it up. I gotta put some heat in this garage. You can tell I got my winter's uh, finest on here. Let me tell you what, 70 bucks for this, uh, this coat. Oh, a little, little shout out to SpaceX. What's up, Brian? What's up, Nick? Keep us, keep us in the skies, guys. Um, I don't know where I was. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna pick up where I where I uh, veered off. Uh, my intention is to uh, finish up the paint job on this uh, chief. I did did everything last spring. Oh, I think I was talking about the heat. Yeah, I gotta get some heat in this garage before I start applying any kind of paint. So I won't bore you with all the details. I want to show you what it looks like now. And like I said, I'll throw the pictures uh, into uh, the beginning of this video uh, so you can see kind of the steps I took to cut the. Uh, roof rails off and to sand, you know, to, to um, um, I guess, uh, grind down those, uh, the bolts of the heads and then push through the little nut certs. And then as soon as I get those parts, I'll start uh, putting those in. But uh, first, let's, uh, let's go take a look at this roof. It's, uh, it's not a pretty sight. So women and children, young, young children, old children, well, I won't turn off this video right now because uh, it's a scary sight. GoPro, turn off. That's not the command. GoPro, stop recording. Okay, as you can see, successfully removed the roof rails, roof rack rails, whatever. And you can see, man, this is pretty sun beaten. But that's okay, it has a nice patina. I tell you what, if this was the hood, I probably, nah, I would have fixed it. But anyway, it has a nice patina on it, right? But we want to fix that. Do you see the roof? No, I mean, I see it because I'm 6'4, but um, do you really see it? No. But. There are two different roof rack styles. The older XJs have roof racks that go uh, all the way to the front. Uh, my 99 XJ has a roof rack that I think stops right about here. I don't know. But this one goes all the way to the front. So, of course, my salvage yard did me uh, a good bit of justice. And I found a, I think a, I think it's from a 97. Uh, they still had, the, you can see the roof rails over there, actually. They're kind of in between all that garbage there. <laughs> it's a tight garage, guys, like you know. But anyway, so my intention is to sand all this down, buff all these out, get, all, get this all down, fix up the clear coat. I'll leave those hinges on. I, I, don't, I don't really feel it's necessary. I mean, yeah, you want to do it right. So this little Ryobi palm sander has been awesome. I did the entire Jeep with this palm sander. It's a 18 volt, it has a little dust thingy on it, so you just clean that off now and again. It's like a six inch, this is a five inch, but I have a six inch 320 crit, uh, door gold, auto body uh, sandpaper. It has little holes in it so it can vent out. I'm gonna get the box here off camera. Please hold. Got off Amazon, I don't know if it's right reading up, I don't know. 
I'll put a link in the uh, description, but um, I got a good bunch of them left. I don't know, I may take three or four of them. Got a good stack. I think I'll have to get more. But uh, basically, just going to throw this on here. And then... That's fun. And then we're going to uh, attack the roof. So uh, this is all it needs. Um, you can use an air. You can use an air sander, um, whatever you need. But I like the... Uh, the flexibility of having the battery operated one um, because then I can kind of go wherever I don't have to worry about cords and stuff like that so that's my choice GoPro recording so uh, gotta make sure you have a dust mask on because this stuff just doesn't taste good in your lungs and in your nose and stuff so you want to make sure you mask up um, not that we're already completely exhausted with all this mask stuff but in this case Let's go on ahead and use this breather and we'll just uh, sand the sample down and I'll bring you back and I kind of show you what it looks like. We don't need to get it down to bare metal. Um, we just want to scuff it. Uh, we want to remove the, um, the clear coat and we want to get it down to primer where we can. Uh, but all we want to do is give the, uh, the primer a surface to kind of bite into. Uh, like I said, I'm not in, my intention is to not get down to bare sheet metal. I don't think it's necessary. Uh, we just want to scuff it out. And we want to remove some of this clear coat here. We want to make it all nice and smooth. So why don't we all go on ahead and uh, get cranking on that and stop yapping. If I can get my mask on. Oh, it's too tight. Uh, I think you guys might enjoy this. Hold on here. How many people have already turned off the video? I hope not. It's fun. Always a pain with, with gl glasses on. There you go. All right, let's get it. Okay, so here's kind of what I was looking for. It's very smooth to the touch. You can't feel the bumpiness of the uh, clear coat. And like I said, this is down to sheet metal because I used the, uh, the, the, the grinding wheel to uh, get that all nice and smooth for those uh, push pins, not push pins, the um, nut certs. But yeah, this is the section I did. You'll go through a pad or two, but um, nice and smooth here. This is basically what you're looking for. Uh, oh, I also used the fan over there, too, just to kind of get that out. Is the garage cold? Heck yeah, because it's open, but that's okay. But nice and smooth, and we'll just kind of keep at it until this whole thing is done, and I'll bring you back when it is done. Okay, so fast forward to a few days later, and, well, it didn't take me a few days to sand the top of this thing, but uh, time is of the essence, and uh, sometimes I don't have that until late at night. Uh, so the top has been sanded, and as you can also see, and you can probably hear, nice fan, uh, propane heater, very nice. And please, folks, when you're using a propane heater, carbon monoxide tester and smoke alarm combo. Please always make sure you get yourself some fresh air now and again, have your carbon monoxide tester working because you just never know. Propane is very clean. It's very safe, but you never want to take that for granted. So when you're using propane in an enclosed garage, have a carbon monoxide tester, save your life. Because you can't smell carbon monoxide, you know, it'll be dead. And everybody's like, I wonder what he's doing in the garage. You know, 10 days later, they come look for me. <laughs> kind of a bad story. Uh, I've also taped off the entire Jeep too. Did that one night. Uh, so everything except for the roof is covered. So I uh, taped everything off, so when we go to paint, all we gotta do is hit this up. Uh, so the uh, roof has been sanded down real nice and smooth, no big deal. Uh, I cleaned up the holes to match. Oh, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself, hold on. Um, everything is sanded down. The next thing I wanted to do before I paint it is I want to install the nut certs with a little bit of this, uh, I have this like windshield and gas sealer it's Permatex, it's silicone. Um, what I'm gonna do is kind of put it around the nut cert uh, before I install it with the tool, the nut cert tool. So it'll go in there and then uh, I'll show you later once I install these rails, I'm gonna have a nice strip of uh, rubber 
I guess it's sort of like an eighth, maybe a sixteenth thick, um, just to make sure, because uh, how they set, seal it from the factory is uh, they put some kind of putty around here too. So I figured this is just as good. This is for windshields. I, I know it's probably not exactly, uh, you know, legit, uh, but it does say flowable silicone. It's fl flowable silicone, easy for me to say, and it is waterproof, so it should fit the bill. So uh, I clean up the holes real quick. This was a test run, but I kind of wanted to show you what it looked like before the nut cert. Sorry, you really can't see with my big gorilla hands here. Uh, here's the nut cert here. And it'll be flat. But before you do that, I don't know if you guys have ever worked with a nut cert tool before, but it's actually pretty cool. It, um, I'm sure there's tons of videos on it. But basically, this tool, sorry, this tool right here kind of squeezes it down and crimps it down. Um, so what you're kind of left with is um, the edges of this little, I guess, nut sort of kind of squeezed in and it pinches between this lip and the uh, squeezed up, squeezed up, the squeezed part and it clamps the sheet metal so it makes a nice tight seal. Uh, again, silicone, silicone is a, a little overkill but you just, I don't want this to be uh, leaking. That's the last thing I need. So here's kind of what it looks like. Where is it? So you kind of got the button head, uh, screw, the nut cert, and then you'll have a little bit uh, sticking out. Uh, I got one inch screws. Uh, I think a half inch would be better. Um, I had to drill little holes to kind of make room for it. Uh, I poked through the headliner on one of them, but whatever, man. It's all good. Uh, bag of nut cert, bag of nut certs from Amazon. And my bag of buttonhead bolts from Amazon too. Link will be in the description as well as in my Amazon store. So let me uh, let me show you what those uh, nuts or things look like, and we'll get that going. All right, folks. So here's what we're looking at. Just gonna get a little of this silicone. Oh right, yeah, that'll work just fine. Just around the nut cert right here. Nothing crazy. Just to kind of seal it up, and that'll all squeeze up once you put it in the. Um, into that hole there. Let's get the top here kind of off camera. Da, 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 da. And then let's turn you. All right, there's my lovely garage. And then all we're gonna do, is squeeze down. And then we just tighten that up a little bit. To get it tighter. Squeeze a little tighter. Still hasn't pinched this. There you go. Now we got a good seal. There we go. A little bit tighter. And you loosen it. And there you have it. Now we'll take a little uh, paper towel, wipe off the excess. Kind of drop my paper towel, folks. Just kind of get that silicone around there. And that'll paint up nice. Plus, it'll be under the uh, the roof rack rail, so it's kind of doesn't have to be beautiful. And then just to kind of show you. That's it. That's just how the factory did it. So I won't bore you with doing the other five or four or five or say how many ever I got. But you kind of get the idea. Awesome. Let's do the rest of them. Outstanding results. So all one, two, three, four, five, six are installed everything's good everything has a good coat of silicone on it and it'll let that dry overnight did a test fit of the uh the rail and everything works good there's enough play in the slots for the mounting uh that you should have no problem if you know one was slightly off or whatever but there's plenty of gimme room in this plus this is aluminum so you should have no problem getting everything to line up but 
We'll do the other side tomorrow, which is over there, just sitting there by itself. But uh, all the nut certs are in, everything is good, test fit, and uh, we'll just let this dry and uh, we'll head in for the night. So just a couple minutes in the shop tonight, just to see how long A it would take to get the shop warm, which is 45 minutes. I'm just in a t-shirt here and some uh, bikini, no, no, not in a bikini, sorry. Um, actually, you saw my overall, so anywho, this is a family program, Joe. Let's keep it on track here, Bubba. Uh, so anyway, uh, we're good to go, and uh, we'll do the next side uh, probably tomorrow. And uh, my paint will be here on Wednesday, so we'll be able to hit that up. Uh, and the surface, I don't have a uh, like a temperature gun, but the surface feels pretty cool. I know it's supposed to be above like 50 degrees. Uh, again, it's a roof. Um, I think this feels pretty good. Um, we'll, we, I also built a little ventilation system there too. It's a little filter on there, and that'll kind of go... Uh, in between the floor and the garage, so we'll at least get some some exhaust from the uh, paint fumes, so I don't like <laughs> kill myself in here with that. Uh, what we'll do is we'll turn the uh, turn the heater off when we're painting. We'll turn it back on once we're done to let that stuff bake. But that's for another day. So, all right, we'll uh, see you when we come back. All right, so here we are back at it in the garage. Uh, got all the nut certs in. I got everything uh, sealed up. And next step is we're gonna lay a coat of primer down. Uh, I got this clock uh, off Amazon a couple days ago and um, especially in the winter time it's kind of important to know what your temperature is. Uh, so it's 65 in the garage right now. I've had the heater on medium. Again make sure you have proper ventilation and a carbon monoxide tester or alar alarm. Um, 65 in here that's pretty good. Surface feels pretty warm. Um, is it scorching? No. Is it frozen? No. So it's Good. You have to have enough heat in the uh, in the air and enough heat in the metal to uh, have the paint cure and dry. So I think we should be in good shape. Um, I use uh, I've had really good results with uh, automotive touch up. Um, these guys have all the uh, original equipment uh, colors and they have really good primers and it's a really good site for information. Um, I'll leave a link in the uh, description as well so you can take a look at it. But um, they have all the paint codes from Jeep and. Uh, everything you need so I've been really happy with their clear coats their primers and uh, and uh, their uh, their match colors so uh, I'll show you what the uh, what is this thing the roof before we uh, start painting up and uh, we should be good to go all right I wanted to show you the uh, respirator I'm using it's a 3m product and I'll uh, leave a link in my uh, in the description of the product number and everything. And I'll also have it on my Amazon store. Uh, this is good for dust, particulates, and also the reason why I got these uh, particular filters is it's good for paint, solvents, chemicals, things like that. So feels pretty good. The one I had uh, been using in the past was probably 15 years old and never had the filter change. So I was like, well... <laughs> Not really doing myself any favors by using an old beat up piece of crap so uh, this feels really good uh, so when you're painting make sure you have a respirator pay no attention to the mess in the corner i also created myself a little uh, ventilation system here too this is a regular home uh, air filter and i have the cardboard going and a bad lighting i'm sorry i have it going all the way across the garage so uh no uh, cold air is coming in but i'm venting the the gas uh, I'm sorry, I'm venting the uh, paint fumes outside, so got good ventilation, uh, you know, it, this isn't a tight fit, so I got, you know, fresh air coming in, and I got the uh, paint fumes going out, so uh, pretty much set myself up for success, so <laughs> we shall see. All right, let's get the, let's get the painting. One final look, and I'll bring you back when we have our first coat. It's pretty exciting. Yeah, buddy. Oh, all right, so now we have the roof all primed. Looks pretty good. Um, this roof ate both cans of paint. Uh, lesson learned, you need two, order three. You need three, order four. But there's enough that it, it's, sorry, it's primed. A um, couple spots I'm not too pleased about, but it's in the center of the roof. Um, I was going to sand it, but again, it's the roof. And uh, I think we're good. Uh, paid attention to the edges because you can kind of see those a lot better. Color keeps going in and out. Now I gotta change the white balance. But um, yeah, so gonna let this cure for a little bit. I got the uh, 
uh, heater back on, the fan on, the blow the warm air around, let this get warmed up again. Uh, when I had painted the hood, uh, sorry, the roof, let all that bad paint-filled air out the garage. That ventilation system worked pretty good, but it wasn't uh, pushing enough uh, air out, so I just kind of opened up the garage a little bit more and we let that out. So enough blabbing. Put some paint on this later on tonight. All right, so here we are a couple days later and the roof is painted. Looks pretty nice, huh? Nice red. Look at that. Can you see that? Oh, sweet. So uh, what we're going to do this morning is uh, throw some clear coat on it and hopefully get the uh, rails on. Just a basic Rust-Oleum lacquer. It's for automotive, hobby, fast drying. Did a little test here and looks really sharp. I'm going to put probably two coats on here just to protect that paint and smooth it out. Give it a good shot of life. So, red came out really nice, a couple high spots over there, paint dripped a little bit, um, but it'll be covered with a, a roof cage, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. So, got the ventilation going, got the heater going, and uh, let's get this thing clear coated up. All right, clear coat has been applied, dried, it looks really nice, came out super. Happy with the results. Still just a little, I mean, it has to cure and everything, but still a little, not tacky at all, but I'd like for it to harden a little bit more. Um, but we're going to go push forward uh, and put the roof rails on today. So, yeah, it looks sweet. All right, obviously we're not going to just put these roof rails on. We're going to have to paint them up black, make them look all sharp. So we're going to do that next. And this project's uh, just about wrapped up. All right, everybody, we're getting into the home stretch. Next up, we're gonna put some neoprene rubber uh, strip. It's about two inches, and I'll put a link in my uh, Amazon page so you can take, take what? What are you gonna take? All right, and cut. All right, folks, home stretch. So next up, we're gonna take this neoprene rubber stripping and we're gonna put it under the roof rack rails. I'm gonna drill a hole carefully into each one to make room for the bolt to go through and that should make it pretty watertight uh, there's really not much else i can do we sealed up the hole and now we have this rubber stripping and i think it looks pretty cool actually so uh we're gonna go ahead and get that started shouldn't be too bad. all right so now we're at the point where we're gonna start drilling holes i figured it'd be easier to do it while we're on the floor so i have the first one started already and we're just gonna make it flush i don't know if you can see this or not we're just going to make it flush to the edge of the rail and the next hole is right there. I don't put too much tension on it. Don't drill through your finger. Once you squeeze the metal down and put tension on the bolt, it will, uh, well, at least my, my plan is it'll make a watertight seal. So we'll do this for the rest of them and uh, bring it back when it's mounted onto the roof. Oh, before I forget, um, one of the things I'm planning on doing, uh, I love fluid film. Uh, gosh, I, I wish I had a ton of this stuff. It's the best to preserve your Jeep. Uh, when I put the bolts in to the nut certs, we'll be putting a good portion or a good liberal dose of uh, fluid film on the bolts to prevent any kind of corrosion. So if we ever have to take it off again, we won't have to go through all this nonsense of grinding down the bolts and crying and all that stuff. So this should come out hopefully by design, pretty easy, so.
Well, that's a wrap on another fine project for the Cherokee Chief. My Amazon store will have all my parts that I used in this project uh, updated, so if you wanted to take a look at what I use for this project, you'll have everything on my Amazon store. Next project for this Chief will be the rooftop basket and some fog lights. I have some ideas for uh, white fog lights on the outer side and then the two yellow ones on the inside, some nice hella lights, square guys that kind of match the shape of the headlights, so it's going to look really cool. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, like I said, just leave them in the comment box below. And I appreciate you checking my video out. And if you haven't already, if you click subscribe and get that alert button so you can see all the projects I have in store for 2022. So take care of yourself. Take care of your Jeeps. God bless America. We'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye.